It's like all the while they got they got your attention focused on other shit that doesn't even like pertain to what's really important because what matters is this freaking five of cups here which over here as you can tell this represented and we saw it over here this represents someone literally draining the life force out of you because it's like there's a there's a disconnection with your ancestral shrine ancestral shrine that's what's happening Yep. They it's like they they plucking it one by one. One by one, this energy of deception that's showing up. And this right here, it's supposed to get to the point where it's a dead end. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 a it's a seven of wands situation like you're protected, your spirit guides are, are telling you're protected and it's that and it's that very thing that protects you that keeps you in this seven of wands energy that gives you the shield of protection against these like forces it's the connection to your ancestral shrine that these mother effers are are messing with and whatever is connected to your ancestral shrine here i'm seeing it represented by these birds that they're trying to literally pluck every single feather of off of and the feather may represent it's like a the feathers may represent like some aspect of your ancestral memory, something having to do with your spirit guides. Whatever that plucking represent, and I'm just seeing it's, it's, it's showing up as like someone's literally plucking, you know, it's like they're plucking the fruit off of your ancestral tree. It, it's it's some some memory some some something having to do with you remembering you not losing and it's showing up again here mm. whoever this person was that was paid they feel some type of way about it though and this actually may be someone that you know that that's starting to feel some sort of guilt. Someone someone was paid. Someone was paid and maybe someone that you know, someone who was paid to do this this whatever work this is, you know, like this this magician energy. This person's starting to feel some type of way about this uh what they're doing. It's either the, it's either this person feels like they're not paying them enough for this like they oh shoot I'm hearing this person literally when 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 they see you when they look at your eyes they see the karma oh shoot that's why this wheel card is here this person's starting to feel some type of way about see this person was paid to keep you asleep to keep you distracted and this person is starting to see it's like the see they took that money they took that money before they thought about the karmic shit that was going to happen to them now they're starting to see it's like someone someone actually may be as they're doing this they're starting to see the eyes of your ancestors represented in this karmic wheel here like when they see you they see karma coming they see you they see karma coming that's that shit that's coming that's what's coming towards them you see that this is why this showed up after when they see you okay when they see you they see karma coming that's what's coming for you it's time to pay the pipe that's what your ancestors are saying that's what your spirit guides are saying because they they doing some shit and then as they're doing it they're literally seeing your spirit guides intervene in real time okay this is this is real time as they're doing this they're they're seeing who you are they're seeing your power they're seeing your spiritual gifts represented here and they're seeing the karma that's coming towards them they're not see they see teamwork your ancestors your spirit guides are working with you they see all of them all the illusion that they're trying to cause 
Mm-mm-mm. When they see you, they see karma coming. Oh, Suki. Yeah, that's what's happening now. They see the end for them. Yup. That's what's happening. These, um, this person that's been paid is, is going through some shit. Like, this right here is guilt. This is remorse. This is fear. And you saw that nine of swords that kept on appearing. That's that person showing their ass being afraid of what's coming. That's why that nine of swords kept on popping up at the beginning. It's the fear. It's the fear that they have. Okay. They, they, they see you. They see you um, resilient. Seven of wands. There you, there you are. Where's the seven of wands again? They see you resilient. That you can't be brought down that easily. Yup. That nine of that nine of um that nine of swords that we saw earlier. It's the fear that they see. It's the fear that they're beginning to experience. See, see, spirit guides. They're beginning to see the fear because they see the karma that's coming towards them, that's coming for them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you don't see the fear because you're not supposed to. Okay. You don't see the fear because you got other ish to take care of. Like these illusions that they're creating, they're dealing with that stuff themselves. This is why they fear. Because they see karma coming. Yup. It's coming. Ashe. That's that. Confirmation from your spirit guides. Anything else you want us to know? Mm -hmm. That scattering energy that was showing up that showed up three times. Yeah, that's them. That's... That's why they feel scattered. They feel fearful because they know. See that? Yup. This is you. This is your spirit guides doing that good juju. Yup. Mm. You have some spirit. You have some powerful spirit guides working on your behalf. Mami Wata and Dambala and Aidawe do. Who ain't playing about you. Okay. Okay. This is this is La Siren energy. That this is this is wealth. This is cosmic power. Mm. Your spirit. Ooh, look at that. Open right up. Okay. Yes, ma'am. It says here, I have the courage to be vulnerable. Hide no more. The emotional nakedness you avoid is your superpower. So your spirit guides are reminding you to be you. Okay, tap into your energy. That's why the star card showed up. To remind you to be you. To remind you to tap into that power. Okay? Tap into that power. Share your truth. Speak your truth. Share your story. Okay, cultivate an appreciation for vulnerability in others. Become comfortable with feeling uncomfortable and making others comfortable, uncomfortable. Ooh, some of you, your spirit guides are telling you it's time to speak your truth. Speak your truth. Speak that truth. All right. It says here, the declaration, my power shines forth from within. You are in the right place. Release the fear of your power. Hmm. You are magic. Now that you know this, you can no longer pretend not to. Rise up into your magnificence. Love and accept yourself fully to unlock everything you seek. Stop pretending to be less than you are. The real power has nothing to do with external gains. Cosmic power cannot be destroyed or lost. You are created by the same force that birthed the sun and the moon. My power shines forth from within. So you are being reminded of your power. 
because your spirit guides may have been sending you that SOS. They may have been sending you the message to reconnect, to retap into yourself. Okay, yourself, all right, being represented here as this powerful alchemist, as this powerful magician with supreme willpower. And even when you get into an energy of doubt, your spirit guides are here reminding you of who you are, okay? Reminding you that they're with you. Again, someone may need this reminder. See that? Again, once again, it says here, you can do it, believe in yourself. And when that is difficult, believe in us, your ancestors who have your back. Okay? When it's difficult for you to believe in you, believe in your ancestors because they have your back. And the reason why this is being said is because your spirit guides are saying that there's there's some ish that that your it's like it's like it needs your attention. You need to you need to know what's happening in the background sometimes for you to know that you being here unscathed, untouched is by it, it, it's not just something that just happens it's a divine coincidence it's some shit happening in the background that's allowing you to be to to stand as you are um protected as you are all right you're being reminded of your cosmic power you're being reminded for you to acknowledge this power within and to tap into these spirit guides that are trying to get your attention. Okay, and if you ever doubt, if it is ever difficult for you to remember your power, know this. There's someone right now showing up in your energy that was paid to distract you, to cause illusions, to, to take your attention elsewhere. Okay, it's, it's someone showing up as this magician energy okay and i'm seeing that this person is represented here with this energy this this it's it's possibly an earth sign this is why this uh father of earth energy was showing in reverse okay possibly a virgo this person was paid to take your attention elsewhere and the more this person delve in their magic, whatever it is that whatever shit they were doing to, you know, to block you, the more they engage in this, the more they begin to see the karma, the karma that's coming towards them. The more they saw you, the more they saw karma coming for them. And your ancestors and spirit guides are reminding you of this if you ever are in doubt of the ish that you are being protected from. This is to remind you of your power. This is to remind you that you are chosen. That is the message. If this message resonates, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, love, peace, divine light.